Hey everybody, this is a quick tutorial on how to copy a previously taught course into a new course shell. So to begin, let's take a look at the, the new course shell. The first step, um, as shown in the previous video, is to import the new standard template. So we've done that in this, in this blank course. We've imported the, the BCCC standard course template, and we see the menu here on the left. Um, once we've done that, we have all the updated appropriate links, um, and now you're ready to copy an old course into this new shell. So we'll go back to the old course. We'll start in the old course that you taught the previous semester. So I'm going to start with um, my 2023 spring course. And this is the course I want to copy into my summer, my upcoming summer semester. So I'll start by opening that old course. And again, you're going to start in the old course that you want to copy. You're going to scroll down to the control panel and select Packages and Utilities. From there, you'll select Course Copy. You're going to browse for the course, your new course, the upcoming course. And you could do that um, by typing in the search box. And let me see which course that was, 11. So you'll select, you, you can use the search box to narrow down your choices, especially if you've taught a lot of courses, there's gonna be a lot of courses listed here. So use your search box, um, click the search button and that will narrow down your options. Select the course that you want to copy um, into and then click submit. So now we have this old course, my spring course, that I want to copy into my new blank course shell for the upcoming semester. Um, I'm going to select all here, but I want to uncheck the boxes BCCC resources, library resources, BB help page, and BB tech support. I can also uncheck announcements if I don't want to have to delete them in my new course. Some people use um, just the same standard announcements, but most of us create lots of um, weekly announcements and you don't want to have to go into the new course and delete all those. So it's just easier most of the time to uncheck that box. That way the, the announcements in your old course will not copy over into your new course shell. And that's it. From there, just remember you're going to deselect or uncheck the, these boxes, BCCC resources, library resources, BB help page, BB tech support, and the announcements page. Um, everything else you'll just leave as is and you'll click submit. You'll see that that action was queued and we can come over to the new course and it'll take a second for it to process. So as you wait, you can click the refresh button up here by the URL bar. Um, I actually just got an email saying that that course copy was completed. So I can refresh my screen. And then you'll see that the new, the old course was copied. And you can see that it copied over the content. Um, You'll see here in the little notice that the, the process is complete, so we can X out of that blue box. Um, and if we click on content assignments, you'll see that we have my, the um, introductory assignment and the course content folders, if this is an online course, that were um, automatically populated from the course template. And we have a lot of other um, content from my old course. It's set up, all the content is there, my folders there, my content and videos are there. So it looks like the process um, is complete. Now the next step is the course menu cleanup. Um, and that will be, I'll walk you through that in the next video. But as far as copying your course, that's it. Please remember, if you have any questions or need help, feel free to reach out. We're happy to help. Thanks, everybody.